morning, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. I have had a very bad night because it came to me a very bad idea. I will explain you. I have made this contraption here since some time. It is very interesting. You see, the gyro is mounted on a spinning system here. Can go that way and also until down there. You can see here, it is a standard movement. I have put a, <coughs> a small counterweight here to counterweight the weight of this, this uh, plate here and all the axes and everything. So if there is no gyro <coughs> and you put this like this, it will stay equilibrium. Okay. Now, yesterday I was playing with this small toy, which is not a toy at all. At the end, we'll see why. <clears throat> and I have discovered something very interesting. If I put the gyro at high speed in rotation of the spinning and let it press exactly as this eight here, we should <clears throat> expect that the gyro slowly goes down here while processing. And it is not the case. What happens is the gyro will go up slowly here, like this, until the rotation slowly goes down and will go poof and collapse. Okay, now first I will show you the experiment and then I will try to explain you how I think it works. Okay. Okay, so I will now spin the gyro very fast. And let it exactly at this point. Off. And now look at this. It stays now at this point. You hear that the gyro the speed of spinning decrease and look at this now. Is rising up here. It should go down, but not, it goes up. Mind-blowing, isn't it? And you see now some slight back and forth movement. The gyro goes up, spinning speed goes down. The gyro is very high now. The speed of rotation is accelerating. It is normal. But what is not normal is why it goes up. And you see now back and forth movement. The gyro is very high. Speed accelerates. You hear clearly the gyro spinning down. Always faster, 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 and something will then happen. Up, 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 some back and forth movement here. And always faster. <laughs> Total collapse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Eh? So I will now try to explain to you how I see it works. I have made here a small paper and I represent the system. Okay. What seems to be, you have here the real gyro and uh, if we accept that uh, it like is, is right and say that the mass is transferred when the gyro is spinning and processing. It is transferred along the shaft here. I say along the shaft. We have here the rotation axis here and the vertical axis here. Okay? So the initial position is like this. Then we let process the machine. It doesn't fall at all, it's almost direct, as you have seen. And then when the gyro is being very fast, it is able to transfer its virtual mass along the shaft perhaps on the, this pivot, it is not this pivot, it goes through 
the rotation pivot and go on this, this pivot and I say perhaps even more, not sure, but it is not uncertain. It is why with this system I don't speed the gyro and it is not a very heavy gyro, so perhaps is a transfer of mind is only on the pivot here, very less, and as it is a counterweight here, you don't see too much wobbling here, because the center of mass should be here. But what we discover in this experiment, that there is no lose, loss of inertia or weight or uh, centrifugal force or anything. Everything is perfectly in Newton uh, uh, laws. Because if we accept that the mass is effectively there, and then when the gyro goes slower, the mass try to go back to its own position. So it goes slowly along the axle here of spinning. Okay, so when it is at this point, there is centrifugal force, mass, inertia, and everything, but here, not there. And it is a small centrifugal force, but on a big distance of the axle of rotation. Then the gyro, <coughs> which organizes this mass transfer, slows down. The mass goes back to home. Now it is in that position. But have you have seen the rotation here of the is much faster. So the distance is smaller, but the speed of rotation is higher, so the centrifugal force is there. So this centrifugal force try to lift the axle. And then when the, everything goes on, the, the, the center of mass is now, of the rim, is now right on the axle of rotation. So nothing happens anymore. And then it goes back and boop, and big collapse. <laughs> yes. In further uh, video, I will show you what happened when the gyro is exactly here, vertical position. And what happened when the gyro is there? Very interesting. If you can make this small contraption here, you will learn very fast a lot of things. Very easy to do. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, good, uh, good, good, good morning. <laughs>